Hey, welcome to this tutorial. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about some interesting feature in Google Looker Studio. It's calculated fields. I will walk you through why these fields are essential, where you can apply them, and how they can improve your data analytics. So let's jump right in. I've got Google Looker Studio open right here, and on the right hand side, you can see our data set and all the fields it contains. In a moment, we will be using some of these fields to create our first calculated field. Now let's explore some practical use cases. First, to create a calculated field, let's click on this add a field button. As you can see here, I'm gonna click on that and this opens a new window with our existing dataset fields on the left. Among these, you will find the profit field. So let's see profit, as you can see it's here. This field we will use to create our first calculated field. So how can we do that? Basically the first field we will create is tax, which will contain 20% of our profit. So how can we calculate that? Basically first we will type profit. This way we will be using this existing profit field that we have in our dataset. And now we need to get 20% of that value. So let's multiply it by 20 and then divide by 100. This will provide us our tax amount. After that is completed, we need to do one more step. We need to provide name for this field. So let's click here and let's type tax. Tax. That's perfect. And now with this completed, we are done with this first field. Now let's click on save. And then let's click on done. Now as you can see in this field list, we have this tax field. Now let's put this calculated field to use. First, we will create a KPI card for profit and then we will do the same for this tax. So let's use KPI card, click on add a chart option, score card, place it here. Let's copy that, paste it here and now we have two cards. First one will be for profit and the second one for tax. So let's use this profit. I'm gonna place it here in this metric box. So let's place it here. Now let's use this text field. Let's click on this second scorecard and let's use text. Excellent. Now we are able to see our text. So we will now create one more field. Let's again go to this add a field button. Let's click on that and now we will create next field. For the next one we will create profit with our text. So basically we will create another value. We will use first profit field. Profit. And then plus tax. Let's use this field that we just created. Now let's provide name for this field. Perfect. Let's click on save. Then done. And now we are able to see our new field. Profit with tax. So let's copy this scorecard. I'm going to place it here. And now instead of this tax, let's provide this new value that we created. Ok great, now we have our profit with tax included. With this, I'm gonna conclude this lesson. Thank you for watching.